Hello and welcome to another in the series of uh, CRRC's online trainings to help you improve your professional report writing techniques. My name is William Dunbar and today we're going to be having a very basic look at the online data analysis tool developed by CRRC which will help you get to grips with our data, play around with it, do some frequencies and cross tabulations. So this is just an introduction. So we start out by selecting our data set and we're going to select 2010 Georgia Caucasus Barometer, and we press select, and there we go. So now we're going to start off by looking at some frequencies. Frequencies mean it's just the, uh, the amount of people that responded one way or another to a particular question. So we'll go for the variable, we'll just choose something random. So here we are, trust fizz, and calculate, and this is trust or distrust medical doctors. There we go. And this is the percentage of Georgia that trusts or distrusts medical doctors. As we can see, 4% completely distrust, 20% completely trust, 30% partially trust, etc. And also, importantly, 2% don't know and 0% refuse to answer. Now, as we can see, there's this little button here where my cursor is, which we could press to exclude the don't knows and the refuse to answers. But I would recommend you don't do that because there will be some questions, some variables you look at, that have extremely high numbers of don't know and refuse to answer. And that's interesting in itself. So let's not exclude that information. If you get large numbers of don't know or refuse to answer, that's important. That's something you should look at. Okay, so here we have the chart for the frequency. But if we scroll down the page, here we have the trust fizz question. This is the question that was asked to the respondents. Overall, how much do you trust or distrust uh, medical doctors in Georgia? And here, down here, we have the frequency table. It's a very easy to understand table. You've got the percentages here. The percentages, which you go down the column, should all add up to 100. And we can press this button to export it to Excel and plug it straight into your report. Now, remember, if you've got a clear table like this, then we don't necessarily need to see a graph like this in one of your reports. You don't get any extra points for doing a nice graph. If the table is clear, then uh, it might be a better idea just to do a table. However, if you did want to do a graph, you press this button and you can download that image in these various different formats. Okay, so that is a, a uh, frequency. Let's have a look at a cross tabulation, which is another thing we can do. So when you do a cross tabulation, it's generally better to have the thing you're looking into in the row and the, the way you're slicing it as the thing you're comparing it by in the variable column. So let's see. Let's do uh, trust in medical doctors by settlement type, urban, rural, and capital. And there we go. We're going to calculate that. And we wait for the magic to happen. Here we go. So as you can see, this is the trust and distrust in medical doctors by settlement type there. So in the capital, 8% fully distrust, whereas in rural districts, only 1% fully distrust. So as we can see, people in rural districts tend to trust doctors more than people in urban and much more, well, significantly more than people in the capital. Um, so that's quite an interesting finding. Um, again, we go down, we see what we're, we see the question, trust in medical doctors, we see what we're dividing it by settlement type, and here we have the cross-tabulation table. Um, and now, this time we can export that uh, to Excel, and this time the 100% you get from, uh, from reading it along the row rather than down the column. Okay, so that's just basic uh, frequencies and cross-tabulations. If you want to get back to the frequency, you can just put the remove column thing there, and we get back to our frequency. And one thing I would say is that before you look at a cross tab, um, try and do a frequency of the variable you're looking into, and that'll give you an idea about how significant these numbers are. So don't know is only 2%. So, you know, this is, it's a good idea to do frequencies first, just to give you an idea of the numbers before you start uh, playing around with cross tabs. So I hope that's been helpful. Here you go, get into the data, play around, let's make some frequencies and some cross tabs, see what you can find that's interesting, and hopefully that will contribute to some interesting reports. Thank you very much.